Welcome to TOCON. TOCON is a revolutionary new slave control system from Excite that uses intuitive HUD-based controls to make controlling a slave easy and fun. This video tutorial focuses on changing the look and design of your TOCON gear. TOCON compatible gear is designed to be altered in several ways by using the HUD. Anyone can wear TOCON compatible gear, not just a slave, though some of the functionality we'll talk about may be slave specific. We're looking at the slave HUD right now, but this screen can also be accessed via either of the two owner HUDs by targeting a slave and going through the control panel. There's quite a few things we can alter here. Let's talk about colors first. Every piece of TOCON gear can have three different colors assigned to the parts of the item, a primary color and two accent colors. Which parts of the geometry of the item are primary and which are accents is up to the creator of the item you purchased, so it may take a little bit of experimentation. Let's change the primary color. I'll click Edit, and now we're looking at the color chooser. I have six swatches here in the center that will store colors for me. To change the color of a swatch, I select it and then move the sliders around up top. When I'm happy, I'll hit the Apply button. There we go, a nice light blue color. I'll hit apply and let's see what happens to our gear. The band of the collar and cuffs turned light blue, so that tells me what the primary color for this particular item is. Let's back out here and select accent one. I'll make this one white. See how the design changes? Most TOCON gear will have different parts assigned to different colors, and by playing around with the design screen, I can achieve lots of variations. Let's take a look at the rest of the stuff on the design screen. Notice the label here. Some TOCON gear has the ability to place up to 12 letters or numbers on the gear. Right now, the label on the collar shows the name of the slave, so let's change that. I can flip through a bunch of choices here, including the slave's name. Let's change the label to say boy. I'll select that option and then hit the apply button below. Nice, but I want a bit of a bolder font that stands out. Let's choose a whimsical one, Cartoon, and hit Apply again. There we go, much more fun. What if I want to use a label not on the list? At any time, I can left-click directly on the label that's showing. It will prompt me to type in my own label. I'm going to type in Tokon Rocks. Note how the word I typed now appears in the HUD. I'll hit Apply to get that onto the collar. The final two items on the page control the bell. Again, not every piece of TOCON gear features a bell, and when it does, it's usually part of a collar. I can control the type of ringing sound I hear by clicking through a list. I'll select Toy Bell, and adjust the volume of the ringing down to 6 so it's not too loud. Now whenever I walk around, my collar will ring. Also notice the option in this list called Off or Hidden. Not only will this silence the ringing sound, it will also hide the bell as well. Owners can also have their own TOCON gear, and if they have the professional version of the owner HUD, they can not only alter the gear of their slave, but their own gear as well. We're looking at the professional HUD, and you can see I've got a slave targeted. To change the slave's gear, I'll go to the control panel here, and then select Design. This screen looks identical to the one in the slave's HUD, and will have the exact same effects upon their gear. If I head back out to the home page, however, and then hit Settings, I see another design screen, and this one's for my gear. Notice how the settings for the bell are missing, but I can still change the colors and any labels on my gear if it's compatible with TOCON. Even if you don't buy TOCON-specific gear, you can still make any modifiable prim-based item TOCON compatible. If the items in question are designed to be collars or cuffs, you can get the TOCON kit specifically for that. You can also get a copyable clothing script that can be placed into any modifiable prim-based clothing, such as silks, and then assign the parts of the geometry to the different colors yourself. Clothing and bondage gear manufacturers can also join the TOCON Partner Program to easily make their gear TOCON compatible right off the shelf. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. Check out the other tutorial videos while you're here to learn all about TOCON.